Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel Soul Journey. My name is Beck Ahimza and today I wanted to talk a little bit about why your frequency is really important to cultivate and be mindful of and also a simple technique that can really assist in elevating your vibration. So as we know our vibration creates our reality and in a lot of different circumstances, it can feel like our outside world really dictates how we feel. Uh, we, we tend to be very reactionary. So something happens and you feel good, something happens and you feel bad, and it's not really being mindful of your frequency within yourself. You are just reacting to a lot of things. So that's why things like meditation, where you clear your mind, can be really valuable because you kind of set this base. And the reason I say that is because your feelings uh, are a reaction to your thoughts and your beliefs. And what's cool about feelings is it can actually show you if a belief or a thought is in alignment with your higher being. So if you have a thought or a belief that aligns with your higher essence, it feels really good because you're becoming one with your higher essence. If you have a thought or a belief that doesn't feel good, it's actually, how do I want to put this? It Your body and your human essence understands that you are getting farther and farther away from your truest essence. And that actually becomes very uncomfortable, just like anything that's being pulled apart coming into duality. Uh, it doesn't feel good. So when you have a thought or a belief that feels good, it means you're in alignment. If you have a thought or a belief that doesn't feel good, you are out of alignment. It is really important to recognize too that oftentimes um, a thought can feel good um, even if it's not 100% in alignment with you. Um, it can just feel better than a previous thought and that's totally okay. For instance, anger can feel better than uh, depression and that's actually a good sign. Because even though it might not be in full alignment with love and understanding, you are getting closer to alignment for yourself. And anger is a perfect example. It's called a move through emotion or a cover emotion. So when you're really depressed, anger actually helps you take actionary steps out of that lower vibration and moves you towards something uh, higher vibration. And then if you don't just sit in anger and you move through it towards uh, frustration and then kind of understanding and then you move up, it's a great emotion to work with. So that's why no emotion is invalid. It is just a reflection of if you're in alignment or not. And you can feel if you're more in alignment by feeling out for relief, feeling out a better feeling thought. So we now know that our feelings are dictated by our beliefs and our thoughts. And the feelings you hold are what's going to create your reality. The vibration you are, which is mirrored by your feelings so you can know where you're at, that shows you where your vibration is at. And then your reality is going to be reflected back to you according to that vibration. So things like meditation are great because they really help you focus into this like non-state or this neutral state um, so that you can then from that neutral space choose which feelings, beliefs, and thoughts you do want to uh, entertain right? So I know a lot of people are like, raise your vibration, get into a happier vibration, whatever. And then there's not a lot of like tools for really getting present with that process. It's like, okay, feel better. Now what? <laughs> Cause I don't feel better. So there's been a meditation practice. That's a little different than a lot of things I've seen out there that I like to do to assist my myself in getting myself into a neutral space and then I follow it up with a bliss practice so that from that neutral space I then am open to coming into a higher vibration. I'm not trying to go from sad or depressed or angry to a good feeling. I create a neutral space for myself and then I come into a more blissful space because from neutral you can kind of go in whatever direction you want, right? So I'm gonna show you the meditation practice that I do, and then I am going to talk about my bliss practice. So 
oftentimes I think people really struggle with meditation because their thoughts are all over the place, they're hearing a lot of things, if you have your eyes open, you're looking around at stuff. So I feel for me, um, guided meditation can be good, but sometimes I feel like even that's a little distracting because like I'm thinking about what they're saying and it's making me think of other things. So I've created this meditation practice as a way to um, distract some of my senses so that I can really focus in on one or two thoughts, you know, kind of weeding out the thoughts. And it's much easier when you have one or two thoughts that you're focused on that when it goes somewhere else, you're like, oh no, bring it back. And what I find is I, um, I'm a visual and like, I'm a tactile learner and I'm a visual learner and I'm an audio learner. Like I learn from a lot of different mediums, right? So I find if I have something visual to focus on that isn't stagnant, that really draws my focus in. It really helps me focus in because I'm, I'm, humans tend to be very visual. If, you know, if you don't see it, you don't believe it kind of a thing. So I find that having a visual meditation is really, really important. And I'll show you what I do with that. And then I also add an audio that isn't, you know, very abstract that can kind of keep my brain. So if I'm not focusing on the thing in front of me, it goes to the audio, which is also very neutral. So if my brain can kind of go back and forth between these two things, it still clears out, you know, 99% of all the chatter. And I always try to bring it back to the visual, but that sound kind of helps bring it back too. So what I use is a candle. And flames are really cool because they move or they're still. And they, they still do create some stimulus for the mind, but you are just focusing on this very neutral thing. Fire isn't bad, fire isn't good, it can be used for all kinds of things, but it can be really just very neutral, but also very mentally stimulating, which helps your mind kind of focus on it. So I use just a little tea candle. You can literally use whatever candle you want, but I literally will just stare and it's interesting because it's almost like my vision kind of like blurs out and I just stare at this and it's so magnificent. It's so beautiful. And I will focus on that. Now, the other part of this meditation is oftentimes I think people try to meditate too long too quickly because it's something you actually have to train your mind into. So I actually found this song on um, iTunes, not sponsored or anything like that, but it's only about three minutes long. It's called uh, Tibetan Gold by Stephen Halpert. And I like it because it's three minutes long. It's simple. By the time they get, you get to the end, you're like, oh, it's over. You're not like having to rush to the end. You know, you're not trying to like get there because it's taking forever. But what I like doing is putting it in a playlist and I can add it to the playlist. So as my, as my mind gets more used to meditation, I can just add it in underneath. And it's basically just this. And it's very neutral and it's very simple. And um, like I said, it's about three minutes long. So start off with the three minutes. So you light your candle, you focus on that, and then you, you, you press play. And it just focuses your mind and it really gets you into a neutral space. Because like we said, the feeling is a reflection of the thought. And if you can make your thoughts neutral, your feelings get into a neutral space. So now you're in a neutral vibration, right? You can add in a breath practice with that if you want. Um, really just do what feels good. So that's really, really helpful for me. So I've gotten up to about, you know, two or three times through the song comfortably without getting really distracted. And I'm just gonna sit in that range until it's so easy and that my mind is so comfortable in that meditative space, I'll just add it on again. And because it's just Tibetan bowls, you don't really notice a beginning or an ending to the song, it just kind of plays through it. And it just kind of surrounds you in sound, your eyes are focused, and it really just creates this very neutral space. So once I'm just in this like, space of presence too because the, the fire is so in the moment right and I love it because once I get into this meditative state I get into the space of non-resistance I just want to be here 
this is so calming and so soothing and so neutral that I can just, I really get to a space of just being okay with what's happening because it's all just here in the moment. And once I'm in that space, I release resistance. So it's a great time to bring in what I like to call a bliss practice uh, to elevate my vibration because then once I've done that now I'm in this high vibration that's a great place to manifest from to heal yourself uh, to just really get into an embodiment practice it's you can really take it anywhere and my all-time favorite way to do a bliss practice is to turn on an Abraham Hicks rampage of appreciation uh, Abraham Hicks Abraham Hicks Rampage. You can look them up on YouTube. They're everywhere. I have a very specific one. I really like it. Um, someone took it down a while ago, but then like someone else put it up. It, it, it's literally my favorite. I will link it down below. Um, I don't know if it's going to get deleted, but it is my favorite. But if you just look up any Abraham Hicks uh, video, it's pretty high frequency. And um, I... I will just throw on a playlist. I actually do have a playlist on my YouTube channel. So if you go over to my channel and you go to uh, how to raise your vibration, there's just a giant list of mostly Abraham Hicks videos and just click the one that interests you. And once you've done this meditative practice, um, Abraham is extremely high vibe. So when you listen to the words and you take it on, you naturally raise to the vibration of the message, which is extremely high vibrational. So what I like to do is I will even keep the candle going and I'll just focus on it or I'll lay down and I'll just let the words soak in. And I really think about what they're saying. There's this one part in the Rampage of Appreciation that just says, source adores you. And honestly, that makes me cry every single time. It is so unconditionally loving the way Abraham says it. And if you really just allow Abraham's words to flow over you, some of them won't feel accurate just because you're not in the place to really receive that high vibrational space yet. But just listen to it. Allow it to come in. Allow yourself to receive the message and just entertain it. And as you listen to it more, there, there's certain rampages I literally listen to, I've listened to a hundred times. And every time I hear it, I integrate it more. I understand it more. Things that like felt surfacey at first, now they just like, my soul just absorbs them and it feels so, so amazing. And once you've done that, once you've allowed yourself to be in a vibration, what they say is if you hold a certain vibration for 17 seconds, the universe kind of starts reflecting it back to you. So the longer you can hold a vibration, um, and your desires are already out there, the universe knows what you want, um, but it only can reflect back to you what your vibration is. So you have all these desires, but if your vibration doesn't align with them, it's going to give you this, not this. So the higher frequency your desires, you know, your, your vibration is, the more you line up with your purest desires and or not pure as in like your good desires, but just like your desires are just your desires. They just are what you would like to manifest, what you, what brings you joy. And what brings you joy is high vibration, right? So when you align with the frequency of what those desires are, the longer you, des you know, the longer you desire them with that high frequency, um, the universe starts reflecting that back to you like a shopping list. So the longer you can stay in that, the better. The rampage I like to listen to is about 40 minutes long. And what Abraham says is 17 seconds will start it coming to you. So the longer you can sit in that, the better. So if you do this every single day, and also when you're in this state, when you leave your meditation, you'll remember the words and you'll come back to it. And you'll go, oh, that's what, that's what high vibe feels like. So many people don't even know what high vibe really feels like because they've been depressed for so long. They've been angry for so long. They have a hard time even feeling worthy of being happy. And so when you allow yourself to be in that space, you remember what it feels like. And the more you practice that, the more you can easily go to that. And the more often you're in that high vibrational state of either neutral or or higher, right? Your reality is going to manifest your desires and the things that are in alignment with you and the things that are in alignment with you feel really good. So this is a really great practice that's very simple. And again, you don't have to use the song. I just really like it because it's very neutral. Any meditation song will be good. I like something that's 
not super active in the mind because you'll kind of like wait for certain parts of the song and you kind of get used to it. I like the singing bowls because it's very neutral, but you can do it with any meditation song that resonates with you. And even just the meditation part is so healing for your body. It gives your mind a rest. It gives your feelings a rest. It gives your body a rest. And when your body is not, you know, when you're not in resistance to the idea of healing, when you're not in resistance to abundance and wealth because of all of our negative programming, when you come into a neutral space, your body has an opportunity to heal and come into alignment with itself. So even just the meditation part, is amazing um, but I find following it up with an embodiment practice you can do dance you can sing just do something that you really enjoy maybe it's art maybe it's going for a walk whatever it is whatever blisses you out do that mine just personally happens to be these Abraham Hicks rampages because they just oh, so high vibe and I'll link them down below I'll link the playlist if I can and 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 the rampage and you can just check it out see how you feel about it um, but these two things together are just mwah, magic and um, I've been really enjoying it. I find for some reason, meditating on the flame, I find such joy and bliss in the flame. It's, it's so amazing that flame exists or just anything around us, but flame is so interesting because it's so in the moment and it needs a fuel and it just, it just is this light. It's absolutely fascinating. And so I find that just meditating on that is just super healing. And I, I feel like you could do this with a fire too, like a, like a campfire or a fire in a wood stove or whatever. Um, but I feel like you have to like really see it. If it's just like whirling, it's like a lot. But like if you can really see it, it, it can be so meditative. So let me know if you try this. Of course, be careful if you're using fire, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you're underage, check with an adult, you know, all the good stuff. Um... And this could be anything that was fairly, you know, repetitive. I feel like you could do it, like, if you have, like, a fish tank and you have a bubbler, I feel like that would work. Um, I feel like even, like, an electric candle, I feel like if it flickers, you know, if you have an electric candle that flickers, you could really focus on that. Don't use a light that's too bright that's going to really hurt your eyes. <laughs> um, but something that kind of is, like, repetitive, I feel like could be... A really good um, thing because it's stimulating your brain enough to focus on it but it's not stimulating it to the point of creating more thoughts it's kind of just in that neutral space so again comment down below if you would like to try this if you have tried it um, if there's uh, any meditation songs that you really like for meditation um, yeah let me know down in the comments and let me know if it works Thank you guys so much for watching. You are amazing. You are beautiful. And I really appreciate you. Um, I haven't been posting as much because I have been doing so much inner work. And there's just a lot coming up. I'm sure we're all feeling it. So much shadow work. So much empowerment work. So much clarity. Um, and it's been a lot. And not every day has been a cakewalk. I've so much fear has surfaced and I feel like this is the year of really integrating our fear and understanding fear and utilizing it as a tool and really learning how to work with it because it is just another emotion it's just another uh thing to a stimulus to help protect you um and it can be utilized very well or it can be just fallen into and so right now that's what the collective is really working on so i'm feeling that stuff raised to the surface um there's just so much and there's stuff coming up for me that i did not think would resonate with me there's aspects of me that i rejected for so long because i considered them negative or not okay and i'm realizing that i need to integrate them back in because they are neutral. It's just that I had a story around them, a belief around them. So lots has been going on. So that's why I haven't been posting as much uh, on any of my platforms. Um, I'm just posting when I feel led to because I feel like that brings out the best content. Um, and it's the most authentic and self-loving for me. So um, I am going to continue to post. Um, I just, it's not going to be specifically at a specific time. Um, it's going to be authentic and organic. So uh, definitely comment down below and give this video a like if you liked it or if you want more videos like this in the future. I haven't really done like um, a lot of like meditation videos or like real like 
you know, apply this practice kind of video. So if you like this, uh, let me know and I will see if I can post more as, as they come to me um, or as I'm learning them. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you are notified when I post. Um, and yeah, and my other social media links are in the description down below. Um, I have my Etsy shop down there, which currently, because I'm not shipping anything out right now, is just my readings. But if you would like a personal tarot reading with me, um, I have a bunch of different options. I have general readings, I have animal spirit readings, I have ascended masters readings. Um, those are all available in the shop and they're all digital. Um, so that's really cool. And I'm doing currently a store-wide 20% off sale. So definitely go check that out. And then all my other social media links are down below as well. Uh, and you can check those out. I have a Patreon, uh, which is super cool. I am super thankful to all of my patrons. They are listed down below. Um, thank you guys so much. You are amazing. You are such a blessing. Um, it's nice to get back in front of the camera. I, I know I just posted like a week ago, but it just feels like it's been a while. Um, a lot is shifting. I feel like we're all evolving so intensely and I feel like I'm a different person than I was a week or two ago. So um, we'll keep evolving. It's very exciting as we integrate. It's amazing what we recognize within ourselves and remember, um, it's super powerful. So thank you guys so much for watching. So many blessings on your personal journey. Um, I know we're all on this together, but we're all, it all looks so different. So, so many blessings on your journey. You're doing a really good job. Thank you for being here and holding space with me. Um, it's a real honor and it's a real blessing to be a part of your journey and you are a part of mine. Definitely comment down below. I love connecting with you guys. So, thank you guys so much. You are amazing. Many blessings. Namaste. And don't forget, it is all about the soul journey. Bye.